what's up guys welcome back to lion mark tv mark here with another exciting delighting and much interesting video here on the channel this one is from kenneth okonkwo um we all know he joined um labor party which is the let's say the ruling party now the party with the real structure now he was in apc and now he has moved from apc to labor party well he, ha he has the reasons his reasons why he joined the party you know peter will be and the rest of others at the party this is the history don't forget to subscribe if you're new here drop a comment in the comment section enjoy the video guys this is the official presentation of labor party flag and this labor party flag symbolizes the logo of labor party that you will see on the day of ballot paper you will see LP, you will see Papa, Mama, Peking, and that is what it's meant for. Doctor, you are welcome. You. Immediately after the presidential primaries, yes. I said in my mind that before I choose any presidential candidate to support, I am going to watch clearly the way they will perform their first task, their first function as presidential candidates, which is the choice of their vice president. Because this is a task that is the exceptional privilege by the Constitution, Section 142, Subsection 2 of the Constitution. That is the first task of a presidential candidate the choice of a vice president i said i was going to watch and i will put it to test to determine the suitability of the presidential candidate i was going to follow i saw the pdp and how the presidential candidate voluntarily set up a committee and ask the committee to choose his vice for him he outsourced the choice voluntarily meaning that he does not even know he's not even sure of his choice the committee came out with a decision a 17-man committee in which governor wiki scored 14 votes against three for the other two but the candidate chose one of the ones that lost and not just that he chose another person but he impugned the character of the chairman of the committee governor autumn by saying that governor autumn lied that they did not vote it is elementary that when a committee is reaching its decision we in corporate law will tell you that they reach decision by resolutions and the resolution is reached by voting so it's elementary language elementary law that they must have voted even to choose the three out of all the shortlisted candidates I cannot possibly follow a candidate who cannot make his choice and then who can lie against the committee that he set and again whose choice has caused disunity and disaffection amongst the party members because it will eventually dovetail to the country. I watched the APC candidate, Bola Ahmed Tinubu, and out of 100 million Christians, he saw no one that, according to him, was competent. And he made a choice of a fellow Muslim to be his vice. And he said he chose the fellow Muslim because he was competent, meaning all the Christians are incompetent. I want to tell you how important his choice of a northern christian would have been the northern christian has the slimmest chance of becoming president 
or vice president in Nigeria. And this would have been a golden opportunity to make them feel that they belong. Because naturally, if the power goes south, most of the time it will be a southern Christian that will have the power. And when it goes north, people will prefer a balance, a change, and most times it goes to a northern Muslim. So the northern Christians have the slimmest chance to get into the presidency. So the only time to balance the presidential ticket with a northern Christian as vice is when you have a southern Muslim as the presidential candidate. Now we had that golden opportunity in 2022 in APC and His Excellency Bola Ahmed Tinubu blew it up because he was desperate. He wanted to win at all costs, even if it means Nigeria being divided and going up in flames. So the choice of a fellow Muslim, which has made it that currently in APC, the presidential candidate is a Muslim, the vice presidential candidate is a Muslim, Senate president is a Muslim, Speaker of the House of Representatives is a Muslim, Deputy Speaker of the House of Representatives is a Muslim, the Chief Justice of the Nation is a Muslim, the National Chairman of the Party is a Muslim. You can see the disaffection and disunity is coughing in APC and in Nigeria in general. I cannot, in all conscience, follow a presidential candidate that does not recognize the diversity of our nation and the need to make sure that everybody is accommodated. And that was how Tinubu was ruled out. Nigeria is better off without the presidency of such candidates. And now, I waited for His Excellency Peter Obi. That is why I never went public in my support for him until he makes a choice of his vice president. And behold, he checked our ethnicity, he checked our religious diversity and linguistic barriers, and he chose a vice president in the person of the cerebral Yusuf Dati Baba Ahmed, an educationist that has built universities to educate the children, a detribalized human being that works well with everybody. And today, the Labour Party presidential candidate is the most balanced and you can see how it engendered peace unity togetherness in labor party which will dovetail into the nation i have peace in labor party i have peace supporting such a candidate and nigeria will have peace supporting such a candidate and that is why i believe having successfully executed this first function without rancor without bitterness that p2b is better than every other candidate contesting for the post of the president of the federal republic of nigeria come 2023 and i recommend him to all and by the grace of god he will be the next president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Well, 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 you've listened to everything he has to say in this video and maybe you've watched the video to this particular extent. In the comment section, I want you to think if everything he said is genuine to you or is just, is just another strategy to campaign and possibly, you know, make waves, you know, for himself. He hasn't been successful in politics in Nigeria all true you know we all know that it, it has not been successful with him in politics and trust me i'll 100 say that 
he is good with what he was doing before which is the nollywood and the acting anyway thank you for watching